Hey guys. Uh, I'm here today because I know I hadn't put a lot of videos out, but uh, my son has uh, found something that he believes in, something that he's upset about, and he believes that a lot of kids are having to deal with. And after doing the research, come to find out here in Texas, there are a lot of kids uh, having to deal with this. And he's being punished for standing up for something that he believes in. Uh, he spent two days in ISS, uh, in school suspension already, and he says he wants to finish out the week. That's another three or four days uh, in, in school suspension just to prove his point. I don't know how much longer he'll go past that. But here in Texas, after him and I did the research, uh, come to find out there's a lot of kids, young, even younger kids, as young as first grade, that are being sent home, that are being denied in, edu in education uh, based on one policy that the school has. And uh, that policy is that boys cannot have hair that is long. And when I say hair that's long, I'm not talking about I'm not talking about long, obscene hair. I'm not talking about hair that's really colorful and and takes the focus off of everything you're doing because you're just sitting there staring at the hair type hair. <laughs> I'm just talking about hair that doesn't meet their requirements. I'll show you the pictures here in a minute. Here in a minute of my son's hair. There's another kid who is sitting in ISS with him over the same reason, and another one we heard about who may be getting his hair cut today because they're not happy with it. Uh, from 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 what I can tell, all of these hairstyles that you know it's kind of the going thing now, and it's not real long and obscene, but but kids are getting sent home over it, and they're getting in trouble and put in in. Uh, in in school suspension over it and things like that and uh, so I'm, I'm gonna show you the pictures of his hair here in a minute and you guys let me know what you think but this is something that he believes in I told him that I would help him with it and we have a lot of stuff planned I normally don't uh, I, I normally don't publish a lot of videos that I do with schools I do a little bit of work with schools here and there but uh, I'm going to publish a lot of this. There's a lot of this stuff because we're going to do, you know, a few protests and some things like that. We're going to try and get this policy changed. Um, you know, the Van in, the Van Independent School District is the one that's that's uh, doing this to my child and to a few others. But like I said, they're all over the state. All over the state, kids are being being punished for this, and and I don't I don't get it. I don't see why. I mean, their hair's not. It's just not that bad. But anyways, you guys let me know. Uh, we're, like I said, stay tuned. We're going to do quite a few more videos on this. This one here is just kind of a prelude, letting you guys know that, that I do have some videos coming and that uh, maybe it, it might not be important to some of y'all. Uh, it may be important to some of y'all. I don't know. It's important to me because it's important to my son. But it's also important to me because there's parents out there having to deal with this. Uh, there's a lot of story behind this, and, and I'll bring a lot of it out here soon. But you guys take a look at my son's hair. Tell me what you think. Tell me if you think it's uh, obscene or unacceptable or if uh, the policy should should uh, send him home, if the school should be sending him home or sending him to ISS over his hair. I'm not even a long hair guy, but I kind of like it. You guys let me know what you think. Bye.